Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Shannon and here on YouTube, I share videos on parenting, motherhood, pregnancy, TTC, cooking, cleaning, and um, hair things too because I'm a hairstylist of 10 years so I do have a lot of industry related content on this platform. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, I would love it if you would subscribe. I also have a uh, Instagram and on my Instagram I have saved stories on some really cool innovative baby products and um, some postpartum and newborn life and bump dates and outfit of the days for pregnancy and things like that. So I figured if you're on this video, uh, those things might appeal to you. So I will leave my Instagram linked down below. Today I am two and a half weeks postpartum and I'm going to share what I brought in my hospital bag. So the footage you're going to see is actually the day before we went to the hospital. I didn't have enough time or energy to sit down to actually film it there in person, go through everything one by one, but I did just get some B-roll footage of everything I packed. So I'm going to go through that footage today, share what I packed, why I packed it, and if I actually used it or not. So let's get started. So this is all we brought to the hospital with us. We have a duffel bag for my husband and I, and then the diaper bag full of all the baby stuff. The brand is Skip Hop, and I registered for this on Babylist, but it is also on Amazon. So this very top uh, little pocket here, I have all of the like sort of health and safety first aid type of things. Um, the first thing I packed was a haka, which is a like milk catching thing. So it catches your letdown on the other side as you're breastfeeding. I did not use that. Um, a nasal aspirator, did not use that. <laughs> I just used the little bulb one that the hospital had. Um, nipple guards, did not use that, but I have been using those. Um, we had to bottle feed Preston because he had um, some jaundice issues, so we, he had to be under the light. And this really helped him go back and forth between um, the bottle and me. So recommend those. They work great. Uh, the Snooza breathing monitor, sleeping monitor, tracks, um, breathing movement, position, and temperature, and whether they're in like deep sleep or light sleep. Um, we have been using this every night now, but we did not use it in the hospital. I had full intention to because it's a really cool product, but I my mind was everywhere and I just forgot to use it. A pacifier. We did try this. Um, people have differing views on pacifiers. I've seen the research and have decided for myself that we will be using one. He did not like this one at all, so we used those um, like standard ones that the hospitals have, the blue ones. This is some diaper cream. We did use this to um, make meconium clean up a little easier. Probiotic drops, I was going to ask the pediatrician about these and they say that they're, the company says that they're, you know, good to go from day one. You can start giving these to your baby as soon as they're born. I forgot to do that, so did not use those. Um, saline spray to go with the nose Frida, did not use that either. Have used it since though, and it has come in really handy, so. Um, a windy which is a gas reliever. Did not use that, but have used it since. One time it worked, another time it didn't work. So differing views on that at the moment. And then in the large pocket, we have all of the um, soft things that I packed. So blankets, swaddles, clothes, things like that. So I just have two or maybe three little outfits in here. Um, so there we go, there's, you know, just super basic, the onesies with the little um, fingernail covers <laughs> so they don't scratch themselves, socks and the little sock on things. And we didn't use these outfits at all. I, I knew we wouldn't, but I felt like I should bring them <laughs> just to be a prepared mother, I suppose. But this is what he wore home. So, you know, he did wear this one and we did use the sock ons and they are awesome. We use them every day. And then this little um, bunting thing, I think it's what it's called. It's basically a wearable coat since he was born in early March. 
and he didn't even fit into this. He was swimming in this, so we did not use this. And a couple swaddles. This one I had a matching robe to, which you'll see in a second. And then this one is a Velcro one, and it's weighted. Sorry about my camera work. <laughs> Real life. Um, but it's a weighted swaddle, so it helps them feel like cuddled, I guess. And didn't use either of these. We just used the hospital swaddles because the nurses could swaddle them up so tight that these weren't even necessary. And then as for our bag, um, I just have a couple pairs of shoes. So I wore tennis shoes there, and then I brought moccasins and flip-flops, so all the bases were covered. I have a sound machine, which we did use and a breast pump, which I did use. So I do recommend bringing both of those. And then um, this is my bag of like toiletries. So I have a bunch of boob things in here. So these are like nipple shells, which um, just protect literally anything from touching your nipples when uh, they're like chafed and stuff. Didn't use them though. And then some absorbent pads, didn't use those these little soothy gel things didn't use those <laughs> and um the the pearls the like hot cold pearls didn't use those either for me i didn't have any engorgement my nipples weren't like sore or chafed and even still a month later i haven't had any sort of boob issues so i don't know maybe it's because um he's my second you know breastfed baby but who knows <laughs> um this is a like girdle type thing. I mean, that's the only way to really say it, but I did use it. It was helpful to get rid of that jelly feeling and just made me feel a little more confident. This is a baby carrier, the baby Catan. Didn't use that at all. Um, this is a nursing cover. Didn't use that. <laughs> this is a nursing nightgown in case I had a C-section, which I didn't, so I didn't have to use. And then these are just casual clothes, t-shirts. I have one nursing tank, which I did wear, and some like extra sweatpants, which I did wear. And a massage roller, just in case I wanted that during labor for my lower back or anything, but didn't use it. And then this is my toiletry bag. This is what I use every day. So when you see things in here, like a jade roller, this is like my... I actually use this every day, so don't think I packed this bag for the hospital thinking I was going to jade roll my face <laughs> during labor, but if I was packing it for the hospital, the things I actually used was that little thing of coconut oil, um, the micellar water, I did use some lavender essential oil, dry shampoo, hairbrush. I did put on a little bit of makeup for the second day when we had people coming over just to make me feel a little bit better and, you know, deodorant, toothbrush, and that's it. Well, I hope that was insightful and helpful for you. I do just want to share that 10 years ago when I had my first son, Jackson, I literally brought like an extra pair of sweatpants in a Walmart sack with me to the hospital. So if I can get by with just that, I promise you're going to do just fine with whatever you pack. Really all your baby needs is you. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll chat later. Bye.